Welcome to Teaching Tuesdays with Buko Couture. Today we're going to talk about a question that comes up a lot. What should I have in my closet? There's a lot of factors that come into play when it's about what you should have in your closet. What I'm going to show you today and what you saw on Teaching Tuesdays doesn't always go for the average person. So really everything depends on how many times you wear a suit, how many times you wear business casual, uh, so on and so forth. I have guys who may only wear a suit two times a week, but wear business casual the rest of the week. So the diagram that I've posted today on Teaching Tuesdays, which is right here, um, is a good way to look at how your wardrobe should be set up. You can use this uh, little tool to kind of fill in what your wants, desires, and needs are when it comes to when it comes to your closet as a man, as the modern day executive, let's say. Um, I emphasize this a lot when it comes to realtors, mortgage guys, um, anybody who's in the face-to-face business, sales business. Uh, a lot of times people will say, well, my client doesn't want me to dress that nicely. Um, I think it's taking pride in who you are, the company you are. And the fact that when you dress a certain way, uh, it it gets attention. And when you're dressed, I don't want to say necessarily to the nines, but when you're dressed um, professionally, people look at your business a lot different. Um, so there's a lot of variations in styling and uh, materials and so on and so forth which we'll go over in, in other Teaching Tuesdays. But if you look at this, uh, this, plat- this, this tool that I'm posting up, and you can actually just take a picture of it and fill it in. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask us. But um, there's really 10 basic colors that you'll always have in your, in your wardrobe, and you'll see that on the list going down. Then there's variations of the type of material, whether it's a solid, stripe, uh, window pane, or a check or tick weave, um, or a bird's eye. Then you're going to have your sport coats and your blazers. So when we're dressing people, we focus on uh, what their needs are, how often they wear a suit, and what looks best on them. And I keep kind of posting that the new window panes or the new pinstripe suits because people want to get away from just that every day, all right, I got a pinstripe suit or I got a blue suit. Um, Again, these are things that we're going to go over in our Teaching Tuesdays. Um, So you always want to have your standard blazer for your business casual, your blue blazer, which really isn't worn that much anymore. But if you're going to, if you're part of a country club, you may need that. Sport coats are really where it's at. Um, And what we emphasize when somebody does a sport coat is you want that sport coat to create, let's say, four or five different looks. So you could use a, uh, a zip mock, a v-neck, crew neck, or even a mock shirt under it in solid colors. You could use, I prefer to tell people to use solid color dress shirts uh, with, their, with their sport coats. Don't get anything fancy because your sport coats are ready fancy. And avoid the button-down collars uh, on a dress shirt. They, they just don't have any eye appeal. Just get your regular state, your regular shirts, and just put metal stays in them. It lays nice and crisp. When it comes to your belts and shoes, um, I'm finding a lot lately that guys are starting to pull away from wearing a black shoe. You're going to find a lot of uh, Merlot shoes, burgundy shoes, walnut color shoes, and always make sure that you complement that with the belt. Um, suspenders are another thing. They're coming back. Three-piece suits are huge. Um, it's a nice additive, and it and it cleans up the look when you're when you're fully dressed. So those are just some tidbits about getting dressed. And remember one thing: um, you're using your suit or your sport coat or the way you dress for work, but don't make it a uniform. Make it present your personality. And when we deal with clients, we try and pull out their personality to really focus on what is going to look good on them, number one. Number two is 
when they go into their closet, they're going to be like, oh, I haven't worn this suit. I want to wear this suit. So, so let it be a little bit of fun. People want to see color. Color is huge right now. Um, if you have any questions, if you want this uh, little tool, just download it, print it out, or picture it, or you can send me an email at cs at bucocouture.com, and we can email it to you. If you have any questions about it, if you want to do a wardrobe evaluation uh, with us, that's what we're here for. That's what we specialize in. Don't forget to visit us at www.buco.us. And we're very excited about the next upcoming um, holidays. We're going to really do some really nice things to the window. So we hope you stop by if you're in the area. And we look forward to seeing you. Have a blessed day and enjoy the rest of your week.